So you guys should be getting an idea of how this goes. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to extrude the uh, back wings and, and uh, the tail feather, and then we're going to smooth this thing out, all right? So let's come along here and make the tail feather first. And so now you can see why I oriented my cylinder the way I did is so I could make that tail feather. So I want to select this polygon. So I'm going to come along here in polygon mode, select the polygon. See how all the dots appeared? You can see those? I'm going to right click on that portion right there. and You should have something that looks like this. Okay. I'm going to hit the E key and extrude that up. Then I hit my S key and kind of shrink it a little bit. Now if you get this behavior right here, I'm too close to the center when I did that. So I'm going to get off that right click to get off of that. And I'm going to get a little bit further away with my mouse pointer and hit the S key again. Now I have more control. Then I have this, excuse me, let's try it again. Let's try it, I'm hitting the wrong key. There you go. Let me get it back a little bit. Let me hit the S key again. There you go. Now I'll click. And then now I can push this back with this translation tool a little bit. See that? And now let's, I can arc, middle mouse arc rotate. That's not looking too bad. And now I want to pull those, uh, those, those side wings out. I do the same thing. Just right click on this side, hit the E key to extrude, pull it out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to hit that shrink key to shrink it a little bit. You see that? And then just hit that back key to translate back a little bit. And I'm going to come around and do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to pull that out. Oops, control Z. Got two. Try that again. Huh. S key, shrink it in, and then uh, pull it out, just like that. And so I'll move around a little bit to see if I'm, I'm, that's looking pretty good, okay? I could come along here and do a little bit of work on the end here. Now this is where you're different with 3ds Max, as opposed to trying to do a lot of work here on these polygons. I might just go in here and create like a, uh, a cylinder, for example, open hole cylinder, and put it right here as a tailpipe. Okay, so different from uh, 3ds Max, where you might be doing everything with box modeling. Here in uh, Blender, you actually be pulling out pieces and building these planes by pieces. But that's pretty good where we're at right now. Uh, I'm going to show you something really cool here. We're going to actually make this look really neat. Uh, I'm going to come along here, arc rotate, so I can see this a little bit better. All right, there we go. They come a little closer. And down here, you're going to see uh, below is something called subdivide. You see that right there? All right, let me move this out of the way so we can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to translate my uh, plane down so we can see it. There we go. We have subdivide and we have smooth. You see those two commands right there? Subdivide and smooth. Yes. I'm going to hit A key so I select all my vertices. And I'm going down here to subdivide. I'm going to click on subdivide. And when I do, it divided all my polygons for me. Now, the reason you need to divide polygons is when you start hitting smooth, it's got to have something to smooth. So if it's just a block, it can't smooth just a block. It's going to have more edges. So now let's hit smooth and see what happens. There you go. What do you think? Maybe I need a few more polygons, so I'll subdivide a little bit more. And the more I subdivide, the more smooth I get because it has more to smooth. We can hit another smooth again. And there you have it. There's your little space age ship right there. Let me move that up a little bit. There we go. Now let me go ahead and hit the render button. And there's my space age ship. And you know what? If you watched your next Star Trek movie or your next space age movie, you're going to start seeing these smooth curves. And you go, oh my goodness. I can tell that was modeled in a 3D software piece, just like this was. And that's how you build a spaceship in Blender. So there you go. Uh, this was a fire hose for sure. You mean guys are like, wow, you're going to be exhausted when you get home tonight. But, you know, what I'm saying is once you get through the basics, through the shortcut keys and through all the complexity, it really is pretty simple and a very powerful piece of software.